I appreciate the gentleman, my colleague, uh, Democratic colleague, for his comments and his uh, personal testimony, and I respect his dad and the heritage of work that he left for his son. Um, I'm on the Agriculture Committee, and and I've got to say I'm confused and I'm perplexed, and, and quite frankly, I'm outraged in many ways with some of my colleagues' comments about work and the work requirements that we're putting in the food stamp program. This doesn't have to do anything about children, about disabled people, about elderly. This is about requiring people who are able-bodied to work who aren't working. We are long overdue for reforms in this country. We are long overdue to have policy, policies in place that encourage work. We want people to have the blessing and dignity of work. We want people to fulfill their God-given potential. We want them to contribute to society. We have six million jobs, surplus jobs. We want folks to make the best out of the life that God has given them for our communities, for their families, for themselves. This is unbelievable in the United States of America. We're asking that if you receive assistance from hardworking, taxpaying Americans, that you would just work 20 hours a week or volunteer or be trained to work. That's all we're asking. I see hardworking people throughout the gallery, and I bet you they feel the same way. I've seen the polls. Over 80% of the people in this country say more people need to work and pay taxes and contribute to this great country. I believe in a safety net. I believe in compassion. I believe that's the heart of God, and I think it should be reflected in our policies. But God also expects personal responsibility, and he expects us to have responsible policies that pull people up and out of a cycle of dependency and poverty. That's not compassion. That's not decency. And that's not common sense. And so I support this farm bill, and I appreciate the tone, I really do, of my colleague. I, he's a gentleman. I can tell, I don't even know him, but I can tell he's a gentleman and a statesman. But I can't, I cannot listen to folks who, in, 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 in my opinion, are scaring folks in the public and my colleagues who are on the Agriculture Committee and here in the House from not voting to make responsible, reasonable, compassionate, and common sense reforms to food stamps. We need to do that in every government assistance program. We need to pull people out of the welfare trap, and we need to equip them and encourage them and support them to be the best that they can be.